Hi there. Welcome to lesson number four in this series of tutorials about learning Rhino 6. If you want to follow along, go ahead and open up Rhino lesson four layers and you can follow along. Okay. Now you'll notice I'm in my top view here. If I go to my perspective view, you'll notice I have a lot of different objects here that all appear to be in different colors. I'm going to go back to my top view again here. All right. Now, these colors indicate basically the layer that something is on, right? When things are on different layers, they can be categorized differently. It's, layers are a really great way to keep your model organized. You can do things like turn layers on and off so you can see them or not see them. You can lock them so that you can't touch them or move them or otherwise mess with them. Lots of different things that you can do for la with layers, okay? So, let's start with the basics. You'll notice right here where it says layers in Rhino, this one, which is now yellow, which means it's selected. I just clicked on it. That, that is on, on a black layer. So notice also if I select this layer and I look down here at the bottom, there's a little black square and it says default. If I select this red one, you'll notice that that square has changed from black to red and it now says layer one. If I select the circle one, the purple one, you'll notice down here it says layer two and it's purple. If I select the blue one, it says layer three and it's blue. If I select the green one, you'll notice it says layer four and it's green. Now, if we look over here on the far right, this is our layers panel, right? If you can't see yours, <coughs> excuse me, what I'd like you to do is click on this little piece of pie here that says layers. Yours may also look something like this, right? And so this little pie, piece of pie right here, can open up the layers panel. Now, if for some reason you don't have it at all, and I'm just going to close mine. Whoop. Now, for example, I lost my entire um, panel, and that will happen. If I just go over here to this piece of pie on the top, and I click on it, it says toggle the layers panel my layers panel will come back as well apparently as everything else that comes there by default now one thing that you can do with layers you'll notice if I left click on any one of these I can select them which means you're basically free to move them or uh, do any number of other ob uh, things to them but as I select uh, as I click on them I can select them okay now you'll notice that down here there are a series of light bulbs and also a series of locks as well as a series of colors okay now these light bulbs allow you to turn a layer off and on so if I click on the light bulb next to the red layer you'll notice over here the red layer has disappeared if I click on the light bulb next to the green layer the green layer has disappeared now you notice right here my default there's a check on my uh, black layer which means that this is the layer that is active it also means that anything I draw, and I'm just going to draw a line again, is going to be black. Okay, I'm going to select all three of those and delete them. All right, now you'll notice if I double click on a layer, that layer shows up because you cannot turn off a layer that is active, all right, or you can't hide a layer that's active. Um, but now anything I draw, will now also be red. Okay, if I double click on the purple layer and I repeat that command by hitting spacebar, anything I draw will be purple. Okay, and so on. Now, let's say, for example, if I wanted to change the color of these blue layers, okay, I can go over here to my blue layer and there's a little blue square. If I click on that blue square, I've got a color picker here which is similar to what you've seen in Photoshop and I can go ahead and I can change that layer to whatever color I would like. I can make it pink, I can make it red, okay. You can make a layer just about any color you want. Please, 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 this is one of my pet peeves, do not ever make a layer yellow, right. I've just made this layer yellow and now there it is, it's yellow. Now remember, when you select something, and we haven't learned really about selections yet, but you select something by clicking on it, it turns yellow, right? Now if I have a yellow layer, 
I cannot tell if I've selected it or not. So here I'm drop moving things around. It's not selected. Here it is selected, right? So I can't really tell what's going on. So I'm going to hit Control Z a few times until that layer turns blue. Okay. Another thing you can do is lock a layer, right? So I can say go up here to my black and my red, and I'm just clicking on these little locks right here, right? Now they they are locked, which means if I click on them, I click on the black one, nothing's happening. I click on the red one, nothing happens. If I click on the purple one, which is not locked, something happens. If I click on the blue one, which is not locked, something happens, right? When you are selecting objects, and you can select an object by either left clicking on it or doing what's called a crossing window by starting in the lower right, left clicking and dragging towards something. If you do that, that is one way to select an object. You can also do it by dragging from the upper left to the lower right. And you notice if I only select part of something, this entire block of text, you can't actually select it. You actually have to, when you do a crossing window from the upper left to the lower right, you actually have to select everything. Okay. So that is how you lock a layer. All right. Now, other things you can do is perhaps you want to change an object's layer, right? Maybe I've gone through and I've drawn some things and I've made some things and I'm like, oh, this, I'm going to unlock these so I can change them. For example, if I needed, and this happens a lot, you start drawing in one layer, it's purple, and then you realize, oh no, that needs to be on my green layer. What I can do is select the object by clicking on it, double click on that green layer, and as I did that, as I double clicked, that layer came back. I can then right click on that layer and then go down to where it says change object layer. I can click on that, change the object layer, and I now have something that's green. Let's take a look at the other options down here. If I right click, I can do things like create a new layer. And as I do that, I can either name it or I can just leave it as a default of layer six. Notice it's also going to, the default is going to be just layer and a number as well as a um, black square, right? If I right click on that again, I can also do things like um, create a new sub layer, right? What a new sub layer will do is it'll create objects that are and can be hidden from that other layer, right? So for example, let's go ahead and we're gonna make this layer pink because we haven't used any pink yet. And we are going to draw a couple of rectangles. Okay, and now I'm gonna go down to my sub layer and I'm gonna make things on that one uh, cyan just so we can tell what's going on. Double click on my sub layer, make that one active. And I'm just hitting my space bar to repeat these commands. So let's say that this was all um, a housing or a set of windows or something that was um, that was all more or less interconnected that was fairly busy. If I had thousands of objects on these sub layers, I could say, you know what? I don't want to look at any of the doors or any of the windows or any of the walls or whatever, whatever that layer may be. And I can turn off the layer that is above the sub layer. So in this case, I'll turn off layer six and you'll notice that that turquoise. Oh yeah. Oops. You can't turn off a current layer. So I'll have to go to a different layer. So if I turn off this layer, you'll notice the sub layer that is below it will also disappear. I can turn it and you can see here the sub layer is on but it's got this little half black half yellow so that means it's basically hidden. So I can click on this light bulb on layer 6 turn it back on and if I just wanted to turn off the turquoise objects I could turn off that particular light there as well. Okay I'm gonna go ahead and show that. Alright now in the next lesson we're gonna go ahead and talk about um, different a little bit more in terms of appearance. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the lesson right here and I will see you in the next lesson.